In this video, we are going to start about with properties of functions which are specifically property of inverse of a function. In this video, we will be taking up the first property and we will be understanding what the property actually means. Let's read and learn side by side what is the first property and let's then understand it with the help of an example. The property says, if you have a function which is a bijective one, so you take the inverse and then you in turn get a bijective function. That means inverse of a bijection already will give me again a bijection only, a bijective function only. Let's understand this first by reminding us of what is a bijective function. A bijective function is the one which is both 1 1 and on 2. That means if you have a 1 1 on 2 function, you take its inverse, you get again a function which is both 1 1 and on 2. Let's study this with the help of an example. I have been given a function fx which is equal to 2x plus 3. Now this function fx I know is both 1 1 and on 2. How do I know this? I know this simply by checking it for 1 1 first quickly. That means let fx is equal to f by. Now what I do is I have this methodology which I have already done. I substitute fx as 2x plus 3, f by as 2y plus 3, cancel the y's. Do I have 2x is equal to 2y, cancel the 2's, I have x is equal to y and I say it is 1 1. This we have already done. Now what we needed to check, we needed to check whether it is on 2 or not, we put the heading as on 2. This is all the story we have already done. I write it let y is equal to 2x plus 3. Then what do I do? I actually find the value of x from this y and then I say that since the mapping is always from real to real unless mentioned which is not mentioned here so it is understood that it is from real to real every element in the core domain would obviously be having some or the other one or the other pre-image in the domain from this relation or this x value so it is what so it is on to also so since it is both 1 1 and on 2 I used to say it is a bijective function. So by this we know that the given function is already a bijection which I was told. Now what I will be doing is I will be finding the inverse of this and will be checking whether this is a bijection 2 or not. So I already have what I already have the function. Now we are supposed to find f inverse. Let us see what is f inverse. So easily from the previous knowledge of inverse of function in the videos that we did, f inverse x would become what? It would become from here x minus 3 upon 2 because this x will become f inverse y and you have to change or substitute y to x. So it becomes x minus 3 by 2. Now I have my inverse as f inverse x. I have my function as 2x plus 3. What do I need to do? I need to check whether my inverse is also bijective or not. If it is bijective, this property is well proved with the help of an example. So, I need to check whether the inverse which I have obtained as f inverse x is bijective or not. So, let us check it for 1 1. I check it for 1 1. Let fx is equal to xy that means x minus 3 by 2 is equal to y minus 3 by 2, 2 and 2 gets cancelled, x minus 3 is equal to y minus 3 that means x is equal to y. That means yes my inverse is at least 1 1 by now. Now what do I need to check whether it is on 2 or not? So for checking whether it is on 2 what do I need to do? I need to substitute it as let y is equal to x minus 3 by 2. Find out the value of x. What is x? 2y plus 3. x is equal to 2y plus 3. Now, I have my inverse. I checked it was 1, 1. I check here for on 2. 
2y plus 3 any values that you put you would definitely find out that the codomain and range are equal all the elements are associated such that they have a pre-image in domain so yes it is on to also since my inverse is both 1 1 and on to so definitely it is what definitely it is a bijective function and that is what our property said our property said what that you take a function which is bijective you find the inverse it will also be bijective so in this video we saw the first property based on inverse of function that a function if you take the inverse of that bijective function is a bijective function